Now to the Trump presidency and the now former top aide accused of domestic violence. And at first, the White House seemed to have conflicting messages on this, but now it looks like they are sticking to their story, really sticking to their story. The White House in damage control mode, facing criticism over its handling of spousal abuse allegations against a now former top aide, Rob Porter. President, along with the entire administration, take uh, domestic violence very seriously and believe all allegations need to be thoroughly uh, investigated. And above all, the president supports the victims of domestic violence and believes everyone should be treated fairly and with due process. The White House spokeswoman repeating that statement over. Look, as I just said, the president, along with the entire administration, take uh, domestic violence very seriously and believe all allegations need to be thoroughly uh, investigated. And over. Look, as I just said, um, and I'll repeat it again, the president and the entire administration take domestic violence very seriously and believe all allegations need to be investigated thoroughly. Um, he certainly supports the victims of domestic violence above all else and believes that they should, everyone should be treated fairly sure, and with due process. Sure. Friday, the president went out of his way to praise Rob Porter. He did a very good job when he was in the White House. Even after Porter's first wife shared photos showing a black eye she says she received from him. Saturday, the president tweeted, people's lives are being shattered and destroyed by a mere allegation. So the president saying one thing, the White House press office saying something else. The president has been clear um, multiple times through myself and others within the administration that we condemn domestic violence in all forms. He has not said it. Why has he not said I'm it? I'm the spokesperson for the White House. The New York Times is reporting tonight that President Trump's White House staff has a 34 percent turnover rate, higher than any administration in decades. There are also a lot of jobs that have not been filled more than a year into the Trump presidency.